Pasta is a fantastic go-to meal that's simple enough for just about anyone to make, and there are so many different ways to make it. Today, Betty Ann Donegan joins us with Stephanie Dietz and Emily Ross to show us how to make a new dish. I don't think we've done a summer vegetable pasta before, we, have we? We have not. We have not. Very good. Well, I'm excited to learn. Emily, first I want to chat with you. I know that you were taking cooking classes with these two over the summer. How'd it go? <laughs> it was really, really fun. Um, and we made lots and lots of stuff. Tell me. Tell me some of your favorite dishes. We made blueberry muffins Ooh. and marigots, and we made um, Thanksgiving. We had turkey and mashed potatoes. You made a Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. yeah. How fabulous is that? <laughs> what a great idea. Yeah, and apple pie. All the fixings. Yeah. And now it's back to school. What grade are you going to be in this year? Seventh. Very good. All right. Well, let's get cooking. Show okay. me the way here. Well, this is just something that I made up because all these vegetables are in my garden. Okay. I, I basically you got to use them up, right? You have to use them up. And, and there's a big bounty of squash and eggplant and mm -hmm. peppers this time of the year. So this is a perfect dish. And we're going to roast them. Great. Now, we have, of all these four uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. the eggplant, the squash, the zucchini, the onions, and the peppers, what do you think has the most carbohydrates in it? I would say the squash. Well, you're close. It's the onion. Okay. <laughs> Only because the squash is close to the onion. Uh, so uh, when you know. put these into the oven, <laughs> you put these into the oven at a high temperature, mm -hmm. we're going to put four pounds of vegetables into the oven. Emily, tell them how much it went down when we cooked them. It went down more than two pounds. Really? What, all yeah. the water comes out of it? All and the it water shrinks? comes out of it. At a high temperature, mm. the water evaporates, and then what happens is the carbohydrate that's in there turns to sugar and it caramelizes. Oh, and it's sweet then. So it sweetens everything. I the love onions it. get sweet, the squash gets sweet. There's Some squash has more uh, carbohydrate than this. This is kind of low in carbohydrate. Butternut squash, things like that, mm -hmm. have a lot more carbohydrate. But the, this has the most carbohydrate because this is root vegetable. Okay. Grows under the ground. So onions last a long time. Things that last a long time have carbohydrates in them. Oh. Potatoes, you know, turnips, you know, all, anything that grows under the ground. So, but all of them have some carbohydrates. So all of them have the ability to become caramelized. Got it. So when we take them out of the oven, you're going to see what, what they're going to look like. Now Emily's going to do some Oh, first, do this, show us how we're going to measure the squash and all the vegetables in the bowl. Well, you don't want the weight of the bowl to be with the weight of the vegetables, so you're going to tear out the bowl oh. and make it the, and make the weight zero before you start putting the vegetables in. That's a in. great tip. You see, wow. and this, this is called a tear feature on the scale. So now that scale says zero. Okay. So everything we throw in there, it's going to be just veggie. We're just, not measuring the bowl. I get it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to we're going to I'm going to chop the vegetables, and Emily's going to do the uh, basil. Now tell them what you're going to do with the basil. I'm going to chiffonade the basil. I'm oh, gonna... that sounds so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How do we do it? I'm going to take the biggest leaf mm -hmm. and take another big leaf, maybe a little smaller, mm -hmm. and so on, and keep going. And I'm going to. Roll it up. Okay. All the leaves together. I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to slice the basil and I'm going to slice it so it doesn't get black. Oh. And what kind of knife are you using? A sharp one, huh? A well, chef's knife. <laughs> it's a chef's knife. Okay. And tell them why. So that your knuckles don't hit the counter before they cut the veg, the that whatever makes you're cutting. Sense. Okay. So these are some lessons. Of the, well, these are some of the things we teach the kids. I don't want them to come to class and have fun, just have fun. Mm -hmm. we, we learn things, and I want them to learn these things for the rest of their lives. Yeah, those are life lessons. That's great. So, now, what did you call it again, Emily? What are you? Chiffonading. Chiffonading. Very good. You learn something new every <laughs> yep, day. Yep. Okay. So we're going to chop up some of these vegetables, and all I'm going to do is just... Now, one of the things we don't do is peel anything. Oh, you keep the skins on everything. Keep all the skins on, because, Emily, tell me where all the most of the vitamins are. In the skin. Ah. So we, we want this to, this to be healthy. So we're going to just chop everything up, and it's a rough chop. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything exciting. It's just going to be, we're just going to throw everything into the bowl. And when all we put, when we get all the vegetables into the bowl, we're going to drizzle them with a little bit of oil. Okay. And then we're going to drizzle them, with, this is some garlic, we're going to throw some garlic in. Oh, just whole like whole that? Whole garlic. Okay. Yeah, that'll also caramelize. If you wanted to use garlic, um, garlic powder, you could. And we'll just put a little bit of oil on it, and then we're going to, and, and Emily's going to show you how to toss the vegetables. Okay. Now, we're going to throw this squash in here Can I just like talk this? about the pasta first? Sure, sure, sure. Yep. So I have um, a pound of rigatoni in here, and it's, it's all cooked. And one of the things that you need to remember with this recipe is that you're going to use the pasta water for the sauce. Oh, okay. So Hold don't, on to it. Yeah, don't pour it down the drain. So we have the pintola here, so it, it's not going anywhere, which is good. But I usually put a measuring cup in the sink uh -huh. to uh, remind myself to not get, not, rid of it. not get rid of it. Yeah. It helps to, when you see the measuring cup, then you remember. 
So when you're cooking the pasta, we just throw a measuring cup in the sink. Got it. So we're gonna... Now how much is this making? It looks like we're gonna feed a lot of people. Well, it, it makes about six or eight servings. Okay. Okay, Em, here you go. Now watch how she's gonna toss those vegetables. Now you know why Very she's, good at that, see Emily. See why she's doing that like that? Because this way, you don't bruise the vegetables. Okay. If you use a spoon, or especially a metal spoon, mm -hmm. you can bruise them. Oh. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And everything in there is gonna caramelize. Now we're mm -hmm. gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Oh, yeah, we've got a minute left. All right. Oh, they look fabulous. Yes. Yeah. And you're gonna see some nice color. Now how long did that cook for? It takes about 20 minutes. Okay. So you, you see how, the, how golden they are? Yeah. And that color is coming from the sugar that's formed. Okay. And that's how you know they're done. And they're also, you can tell that they're, if we weighed these, like I said, it mm -hmm. only weigh about a pound, 12 ounces, less than two pounds. You lose more than two pounds in the, in the okay. roasting. Okay, makes sense. Yep. And now we're gonna put in some cheese. This is okay. Parmesan. We're gonna put in some tomatoes that we sliced. All right. These are all from my garden. Oh, and lovely. all the juice is in there too. This is from mozzarella. And now what's gonna happen with the oh, heat is the from, cheese going to melt a the little bit? The cheese is going to melt a little bit from the heat from the vegetables. A little pasta water. A little pasta water. So we're going to stir that all up. And that's and it. And then you have your sauce. And then you have your sauce, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to try this for yeah. lunch. Yeah, it really is delicious. <laughs> and it's it's so healthy because you have all the skin with all the vitamins. We have carbohydrate from the pasta. Yeah. We have protein from the cheese. And we have fiber and vitamins from the I'm vegetables. I'm in. I'm sold. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so it's, we're going to dig in at the end okay. of the show. Thanks so okay. much, Emily. Thanks for coming, too. All right, uh, we'll have the recipe over at WTNH.com. Just click on Style. And up next, you're going to learn all about the RU Dense Music Fest when Style returns. We'll be right back. Okay, we just have to do. Um